What's going on everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to use timer resolution the right way because there is a couple steps that you do have to do to make the app work right. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right on into the video. So the first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do is go ahead and go down in the description and click the first link that's going to be down there and it's going to take you right here to this website. And basically this is where you're going to want to download timer resolution. Now make sure you click right here where it says free download on the green part. And then basically you're going to want to come over here where it says choose a mirror. Go ahead and click download now and go ahead. You can just X out of this ad. And then once you do that, it should download timer resolution right here. 11 dot zip. And all you're going to want to do is open up timer resolution just from here and you can just extract it. So you come over here, you click on it, click on this, click extract all. And that's basically all you're going to want to do. All right. So once you have it downloaded, basically what you could do is just go ahead and click your windows key right here and search timer resolution right here and basically all you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on this little arrow right here and make sure you come over here to where it says open file location okay so once you do that just open it like this come over here and click show more options and then go ahead and click properties come over here to the properties and basically what you're going to want to go ahead and do is click compatibility click run this program in compatibility mode 4 make sure you check mark this put windows vista then make sure you click run this program as an administrator as well and make sure this is check marked and then click apply and then OK. And that's what you're going to want to do for the first part. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do next is go ahead and click your Windows key and open up command prompt right here and make sure you run command prompt as an administrator. Just click yes. And when it pops up just like this, basically what we're going to do is go ahead and take these two. I'm going to have these texts in the description right here. So all you're going to want to do is go ahead and make sure you copy and paste it. Use control C, control V over here, control V and then click enter. And it just said the operation is completed successfully and then go ahead and do the second one right here control c control v click enter again and it'll say this operation has been completed successfully that's basically all you're going to want to do so every time that you use timer resolution i did forget to mention that you do have to make sure that you have this open every time in the background so go ahead and click yes every time and then what you're going to want to do is click maximum and make sure this is at 0 0.500 basically these exact settings should be fine and let it run in the background and yeah make sure that it doesn't close all right so the last and final thing that we're going to do is go ahead and click your windows key again and search keyboard and what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up keyboard control panel come over here to where it says repeat delay make sure this is on short repeat rate make sure this is on as fast as it can go so it might be like over here make sure you put it on fast and then go ahead and click apply and then click ok and that's basically all you're gonna want to do so it is the end of the video thank you all so much for watching if this video did help you out in absolutely any way don't forget to drop a like subscribe and turn on post notifications but yeah i'll see you all in the next one and don't forget to use credit code switchy in the item shop i'll see you all later stay safe take care and peace out